this is Steven. Welcome to Steven's Learning Channel. Today we will be talking about hypertrophic, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which you can see I've written in your right. Now, the pathogenesis. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a disease of the heart muscle that causes asymmetric scarring of the heart cell walls. So here I've drawn in a heart and it's not looking very good. It has asymmetric scarring. Now asymmetric, think of the word symmetric. And then think of the opposite of that word. That means it's not really an, a mirror image. So moving on, we're gonna talk about the diagnosis. The first one is history. Usually the patient is asymptomatic, meaning that they show no symptoms of the disease. But there could be things like dyspnea, aka shortness of breath, fainting, syncope, or sudden death. Very sad. Moving on to number two, the second step, screening. Now, when you screen on a heart that has hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, you will have a systolic ejection murmur that increases with Valsalva. Well, Valsalva is the one that's gonna increase pain in your chest. Now you might not feel it. So moving on, number three, routine tests. These could be things like chest X-ray and electrocardiogram. And moving on, number four, special tests. Now we're gonna do an echocardiogram of the septum and we're gonna take that number and and the L and the left ventricle wall thickness and we're gonna put them in a ratio. Usually this ratio is going to be greater than 1.3 to one. Number five, confirmatory tests. So we're gonna have like a cardiac biopsy and if we look in the cardiac biopsy, what we're gonna see is a myofibril disarray. Now you might be far, now you might be wondering, what is a myofibril disarray? Well, usually the, the fibers of the heart muscle are, they're nice and organized. They're in what we call an array, but in someone with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, it could be something like this. It could be something like that. So, so that's what we mean when we see a myofibril disarray. And the last one we have genetic tests because hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is basically a genetical disease. So, so some part of it is altered by your genetics. And for the looks of here, this heart is not doing very good. So this is the presentation for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. I hope you enjoyed this video and peace out.